Do the motion? No, 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 no we That's your job. You. So sorry. I it's had only seven two seven. soccer tryouts and uh, softball tryout and. Is it late for softball? Softball, I can't see. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. I'll start trying. That makes sense. I don't even know. You really have our tournament next week. Your all-star tournament? Yeah. Oh, we just had one this week. Yeah. Well, look. Well, we go to Maine. We're Mainers. Uh, Lester, <laughs> I'll have to apologize. I don't, I have some numbers for you, but I don't have them separated into registration, tuition, and t-shirts. So I apologize. I need to get this to you. Well, let me apologize to you that I didn't bring my computer. Oh, okay. Right. So we're we're getting sorry today. We're starting to be better. Right now. So sorry. I guess I should apologize. I'm getting ready for anyone else. Any apologies? Anybody sorry? <laughs> well, we get sorry. I apologize. I'm really not ready at all. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a chance to read the minutes. I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't do that. There's a lot I didn't do the last. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to apologize for everything. Did anybody else read the minutes? Actually. That's yeah, good to me. All right, there we go. Thank you. Of course, uh, you're trusting the guy that doesn't read the stuff that his kids bring home. True. So. Yeah, never mind. So, Celia, you're talking about that. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, sure. I'm going to park it in the driveway. <laughs> All right, so we're going to meet at 707. Right now, you. Oh, we're going to run. Sorry. Wait, where's that? I'm going to take her. <laughs> Uh, that ain't gonna work. What are we doing? We're just saying it's out here. Where is she? I just, I don't know. Wait, she's just running late like she we were. She didn't say anything about, let me see. I think she did say, no, did she say anything? So now, now I'm trying to remember, you were the one that said you were going to be a few minutes late. Did Celia? Are you going to take jokes? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, Kathy, you're the best. I might be a little late to the meeting due to a family event. Last sentence in her email. Okay. Oh. So behind on emails. Wait, are you getting emails? Uh, shocker! <laughs> okay, so um, let's. So we can't approve. Can we approve minutes from? Did everybody read the minutes from the last meeting? No. Okay. So do we want to defer? Or do we want to table? Right, I'm fine. Okay. Good. How so many we can read them. I I did. Okay. Good. You and Joey approve. So we can approve. Can you make a motion? No, I did not make a motion. I just said it's all the minutes. What am I doing here? Um, do you need okay. a specific date? Um, uh, staffing. Do we want to talk about any staffing? We can start with you. Yes, I did. Uh, all of this still has to go through the board, though, because they did not meet last week. Is that correct, Jody? So you did not meet. So the board? The select board. No, it's the select board. So the, I believe the three people that we did recommend, that still hasn't officially gone through. Did you put in paperwork for that? Did we put in paperwork for that? Uh, for what? I'm sorry, for which one? The um, Izzy Salvati, Sam Mitchell, and Jada Laughlin. They are in Caroline's <coughs> box. That's okay. this weekend for tomorrow. I will see her tomorrow morning, so I'll make sure that it gets home to the next agenda. Okay. And then Janessa also um, has accepted a, she's a part-timer, though, Andy, so you're going to have to mess mm -hmm. with that a little bit. But she's available to start Mondays and Fridays. Um, she's over 18. And then she will be able to fill in a couple of full weeks during the, and we'll, we can get more specific dates. Like, I know for um, one of the weeks is the, uh, the last week in August because there is one other counselor that is going. Um, she plays sports. So. What was her name again? Sorry. Janessa is her name. Kelman? Yes. She substitute teaches at the grade school too. Mm -hmm. so. Janessa does? Yeah. Oh my gosh, she was just going to the grade school. Yeah, oh, no. she, she finished her second year. Yeah, she finished her freshman year of college. All right, she's elementary ed also. So we have some. Kingsley. Janessa Thelman. Hello, I think she's transferring. She's correct. Abbott. 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 Abbott.
Yeah, I gave you copies, right, of the other three, so I didn't yep. give you a copy of Janessa's stuff. So I will do that. So we have those three plus <laughs> Jordan plus Janessa. Janessa is the only part timer. Yes. So we're still looking for a job share. I I would I don't know that job share would be great I think for her. So if anybody knows anybody that would like a three day a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that might be a good thing for somebody out there. Um, put the peelers out. And what happened to early? Did we ever get his? He I still don't have his stuff to even. He needs to give me his references. And I, I don't know if we do, and that's kind of what. Um, Sorry, you know, so how many like total counselors <clears throat> do we have as of right now? So, including one, those other three. Two, three, four, five, five full time plus you. So that would be six full time and one. That is a Monday Friday. Five full time, plus and plus Janessa. Right. I'm part of that five you said. No, you're oh, a, okay. you're a you plus one. Brittany in that? Yes, okay. Brittany was included in that. So that's five eight. and a half essentially. So that's a so that's seven. It's seven with the one part time person. So. Seven. Yeah. So it's part -time Andy, class. Brittany, oh, said, Izzy, Jordan. She said five. Times. <coughs> yeah, I thought you said five and then plus the one. Which it was the one. Okay. Andy, although I'm trying not to count him as a counselor, so that's why I'm trying not to <coughs> Well, let's just piss off the names. Okay, Andy, Brittany, Izzy, Jordan, Janessa, part time, <coughs> Sam, and Jada. Yeah. Okay. And we have one other available if we need them, and because we're, we're, <coughs> we're still, I don't know. We're up at to 62 kids, right? We're at 62 kids. So we got six plus a part time. <coughs> I would like to think that I, you know, I know Andy can be a. Okay. It'd be nice to have more staff. I think. So, yeah. uh, we're still looking for more counselors then. I think, yeah, that, but I haven't got <coughs> the deadline for them to turn that in because I have one person interested. At this point, there is no deadline. Okay. Tell me get their stuff. All right. <laughs> so one, I, I, I have one person interested. He's a late 17 year old. He'll be 18 in October. <coughs> I only took one because I know we're trying to say that was a 51%. But we're there. We're there. So okay. that's okay. Yeah. Um, and we want to be at 8 to 1, though, right? Yes. We do want to be at 8 to 1. And right now we're at. We got to get a little 10. bit. 10.05. We got to get a little bit over because that one part time or two. In North Carolina on that Monday and Friday, but and in the middle of the week. I was thinking about um, mm -hmm. the extended school program um, on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesday. <coughs> we have the stay back option for some of the campers. So we have to have the staff to stay back. Let's get this on the stay back. <coughs> Should we have a minimum of two counselors staying back? I don't know how many are going to participate in the extended program. I think there's a good handful that will participate in the not not go to the field trip mm -hmm. option. Because mm -hmm. I know some of the kids that are going to the extended summer classes program. Yeah. are just not going to go to the school program and go on the field trip. Mm -hmm. Well, we're just going to have to play with those numbers, I think, as the as mm -hmm. that field trip comes up, because there might be more people that go on the field trip. So I think as those days come up that we have to, we'll have time. Yeah. Right? And that program is July 10th to August 9th. From 7.30 to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So ideally at least four more needed. If we're needed and do have anyone that's out so that's applied or interested. I we just have so. Brighton, which hasn't gotten his stuff in. Right. I have one more that's interested. And I had a feeler out last week right. and she said she was busy and she just hadn't emailed you guys yet. Okay. So just she emailed me. So I'll email her. Hopefully it's yeah. three or four. I've not heard from her. Okay. I'll email her again. You have two potential ones. Yeah. 
I have He's one. one, one. I'm going to try to get one more. So one potential, one potential, one you haven't heard from. Let me ask you a question. Yes. And I guess this is, I don't know if it's more your decision or, yep. but it, we have a field trip and we have 62 kids. Yep. Um, seven of them decide that they aren't going to go on the field trip. We're just going to have one person stay back with them. My thought is we should have two people at minimum staying back with them, which then messes up our ratio. Honestly, I think it depends on the numbers. Out of the 62 kids, if seven decide to stay back, we may have to have to make that tough decision in saying, listen, we got 50 plus kids going on this camp. If your child needs to take the day off, so we stay in ratio. Because to me, the safety of the ratio of the kids at the field trips is more important. So yeah. if, it, if we're taking two counselors just for seven, or seven to 10, and but we're pulling two counselors away from 50 plus kids, you know, I just think that is more of a safety concern. I'd rather tell the seven kids to go home. But, Honestly, I mean, but we're offering a stay behind option, so we yeah. we've advertised that, so we can't. I don't think. Okay. Well, so I guess my concern is having one person back, and then if a kid gets hurt or something, right. we just have one person. Yeah. I mean, Plus, we just have one so, person for. So the one person, I mean, so if we offer that, the one person we should be leaving behind, I would put, say as one of the like better leaders of the counselor, so they know how to handle a situation if something was to arise. Well, I would, I would say and probably, um, is this Brittany? Brittany is the assistant. Yes. Yeah, so that would make sense. Or, or yourself, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, do we agree with that? If that situation arises, it should be the director or the assistant director staying behind. Right. Yeah. It's just the one. But should there be a minimum of two people staying back? Right. It's, I think if it's the director or the assistant director, I'm I would be comfortable with that. Uh, yeah. Okay. And I think number wise, I mean. Oh. Sure. I mean, as a coach, if something happens and I, I don't want to have another parent there. <laughs> so, okay, no, it accuses anything of happening. Or, you know, that, that's what I'm looking at. Like, I want there to be. Plus, also, okay. not that I would, but, you know. Oh, yeah. Jordan grabbed the kid's wrist. Well, no, the kid was fine, so I grabbed them. Okay. Well, you know, whatever. Right. No, not that Jordan, you know, I'm just. Yeah, I know she is. <laughs> oh, there's a brother, though. <laughs> you can understand. Do you have, like, a male yeah. and female coming back? Just for, um, yeah. So that would probably be the yeah. ideal situation. Yep. I mean, we would have to do that, but let's try to get those three people that <clears throat> were contacted yeah. and try to get, because the more counsel we have, the easier that decision is to make. Especially on field trip days, I think you know that we have to have. Yeah one extra person or so on staff, right? Yep. Well, and that was going to roll into Janessa. Can she come on field trip days? She's Monday and Friday. She's, She's Monday and Friday. Friday. So Friday, yes. Okay. There might be some Tuesdays that she is available, but she won't know that until, I think she gets a schedule every, like two weeks beforehand, so she actually might have a pretty good idea. Okay. Okay. Um, so I mean, that might potentially yeah. be the solution. And yep. there's a couple of weeks in there that she would be available um, like for a full week. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's, I mean, that would be awesome, but I think it's really important that we try to get those full more counselors. I think that's really important. I mean, I also agree with you, though. Yeah. You have to have the numbers when you're at the... At the field trip. Field yeah. trip. I mean... By, and, and because we yeah. offer this program, you are right. You are right. We, we need to follow through with that if we're offering it. So. Right. Say we, we got to get those four more counselors, and then female, hopefully female Janessa. Back. Yes, if yeah. there's a day she can fill in yeah. for those field trips, then it's a lot easier. Good one. Created a problem on that. Oh, it's not a problem. Actually, it's a really great point. Yeah, mm -hmm. glad you brought it up. Okay, what else? Okay, Hi, Celia. Hi. Sorry. How are you? <laughs> a little I'm crazy. Okay. Also for those, the extended school program, um, the bus picks those kids up. So 
How are they getting signed in and signed out? Oh. I will bring them back to the select board. What's it called? Extended school program. Well, but they are arriving and going to the special ed so, teacher. Yeah. Can the special ed teacher? But sign not. Them? But not all. Are all the extended school program kids enrolled in summer, in summer camp? They may not be in summer camp. It only deals with those kids at summer camp. Right. Right. Do you so, know those numbers, Kathy? At all? No. no. Okay. No, but Jill Booten would know. Those numbers. Well, oh, no, she would know the ones that, like, and I don't think she can give us the names. Right. right. She can't give us the names. <laughs> so right. We're going to have to send out an email to the people that are registered that say, tell us, if your child is in the extended school program, please let us know. And I'll ask the select board what they want to do about sign in and sign up. Right. Why can't the teacher sign in? I was just going to say, mm -hmm. well, the teacher will be will have to sign them into the extended school program, but will the teacher, the parents are going to have to put the teacher on as a check-in person. And then is the teacher going to be willing to take on that responsibility? I'll have to bring back to the select board. I can't make that decision without them. And not all children go by bus. So can a parent mm -hmm. sign them in early? saying we're going to have the, they're in the, um, Does the council then sign them out to the class? If they're in the early, if they're in pre-K? Pre oh, okay, pre so you're care. saying a parent, a student is, a parent, a student's in early pre-K, pre-registration, pre-morning. <laughs> pre so pre pre I'm tired, guys, sorry. <laughs> And then they have to go to the extended school program for the two hours that it is. And then they're back in summer camp. So who signs, they deliver them to that classroom? Yep. Sign them in, sign them out, sign them back in. They're going to have to do something like that. But I'll bring it back to the select board to make sure. But yeah, something will, like that will have to happen. And the parent will have to sign two papers in the morning. I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't this information would help, them <laughs> but past experience, I've had uh, campers that have had swim lessons that were separate from the camp, yeah. and the counselors would sign the campers out right. for the swim lessons, yeah. but then someone else needed to sign them Did back they in. Have they weren't allowed, we weren't allowed to sign them back in unless there was a, the, the person tweet, uh, teaching the swim lessons or the parent dropped them back off. but. We had the counselors had permission to sign them out for their swim lessons. Was well, the swim lesson at the facility? Yeah. Okay. So like the different permission slip that states that a counselor can sign them in and out to that specific thing prior to? Could, I would think it would have to we be. We could try to make a form or. separate for the campers that participate in this program and it's basically almost a way of saying, you know, <clears throat> counselors have permission to sign in and out only for this program, you know. So I, I, I don't see most class. parents having a problem with that. And if they have a problem with it, they don't sign it, and we try to figure an alternative way. Right. They don't attend. Well, considering well, in the past, they, they just roam the streets and can't remember. Please, they can find it back. It was a little left stranded. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little less structured last year. We just pulled them in off the street and said, here, come play with us. Literally. Sure. So yes, I will bring back the back to the select board tomorrow. Okay, and then I will ask the parents about who was enrolled in that program. And we'll find out the numbers. So while we're talking about signing in and signing out, Jody, we had yes. a. Did you see that email? Yeah, she. Okay. She saw. It. Okay. Um, so I received an email from a parent saying she's a single mom, and. Um, she was asking about her child, her 10 year old girl being able to ride her bike home. So we're back to sort of the sign out thing. And, um, and she says there's nobody. Yeah, that's just that the she's working nobody. and there's nobody to sign her daughter out. So she, she works past to... 5 o'clock. Okay, that was my next. Yeah, she was. Like, what was our response? Like, oh, so you're an actor. My care. response was, I will bring it back to the committee I, I, I and talk to the committee about it. <laughs> she doesn't have a family member, nothing? <clears throat> no, was, she doesn't have any family here. But uh, you can have a friend. Even her dad, the, the father that she's now separated from in Florida. I can sign her. Do 
So is she to put any adult on it? Put you on the emergency contract, right? So maybe yeah. that's yeah. That's a good question because I've had to deal with that a lot she, in the past, exactly. especially living yeah. like being in Rochester. Right. So with me as a community member and a mom, I was sort of my heart sort of went out to her because I understand mm -hmm. that situation. It gets hard. For the record, I agreed with her that it should go to five thirty. <laughs> I just wanted that stated. I know she read that. You said that was on Facebook. An extra two hundred dollars a week, and we'll go to five. <laughs> right. yeah. I was gonna, I was, I was gonna put the hey, I was outvoted, but no. So my Another first thought is, his thoughts, address is. Know anybody? Maybe a chaperone situation. Just on one minute. Or a friend. Okay. Or a neighbor. Is that a neighbor? Okay. Neighbor. Yeah. So maybe we should just tell her that. But. It can be any community member that knows their child, correct? Right. Yes. It's got to be listed on their form. It's up to the parent who they put on their form. I'm putting Blythe on the form. She doesn't know it yet. And I put Blythe on the form. I put you on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. You guys are on the form. Wait, you're right. I want my kids. <laughs> okay, so when, when her and I went back and forth, uh -huh. okay. Okay. she didn't establish that she knew anybody else that would have yeah. helped her. So Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so you do want it's to have up to the parents to put whoever on the form. Rule doesn't change. Right. So. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And that solves. Solves that problem. All right. All right. Check Good. that one out. Next. Um, uh, Celia. <laughs> um, okay. uh, did Would you, you address the email? Did that woman ever sign up for her kids? Going back to the sign in and sign out, there was an email that came in that I think you responded to. Asking if her two kids could sign in and out, and the quick thing came back. Right, sixteen said uh, they have to be signed in and out. We're not offering that. Do you know if she ever went through or decided? I'm not sure if she has it. Um, because I don't really quite recall her name, but I'll look so you don't have to sign all the back in the emails. But yeah, she lives in our position. Okay. So I was going to ask if you want to talk about any donations or sponsorships or T-shirts or. Yeah, I mean. Um, as you all know, an email went out with all of the shirts that um, were ordered. Um, since the order went in, two more shirts have sold. So our <laughs> count went um, extra shirts went down. They were community shirts. And since our last meeting, um, sixty dollars more has been received by the town. Um, I do have for you, Lester. There is one on here that is not correct, but I had her take the pizza sales off. She added one camper shirt to that, so that's how much the town has, minus seven dollars for a kitchen. Yes. And that seems to match what I have right now. We have, at the moment, 400 and with that camper shirt that's on there, an overage of $499 for the camper shirt, which is income for the committee. But we were short on the counselor shirts and um, committee shirts at the moment. So we are roughly at $205 profit. Um, we, although the community shirts say they're at a loss, we are waiting for another $85 to come in, which would put us $30 in the black once that $85 comes in. Yeah, because community shirts would be a plus, right? Anyway, there was like one, that. there is one issue with community shirts, <laughs> and that um, somebody paid $20 cash that has not been recorded by the town on town meeting day. So hmm. I have an order form, and I have a handwritten note, paid cash. But it's missing. But it, the cash has not been received by Caroline. She has no indication of that order or money that came in. And what day was that town meeting day? The when we actually were at the school. Do you? Can I ask you who? Do you know who that's from? Yes, you can't put it on. I can. <laughs> yeah, you can't. I, I can email. Can you? Can you just handwrite it to me yeah. right now? Yeah. Because I might have taken that money. So that's all I'm just. And if I did, I might have put it into a bucket. 
Are we going to keep extra camper and community shirts, or are we going to change them up next year? Do we have are we going to hope that we have the same sponsor? Yeah. 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 Did you tell them? <laughs> them? I could have told them that. And they signed up that they were signing up for a 10-year contract. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, from talking to the graphic designer who did the shirts, um, CNJ has, for a number of years, been one of the primary sponsors, and I'm sure Dan might be able to back me up on this, for the Friends of the Library Fun Run. Like they do it every year. Yeah, well, that's good. So that's right they have a track record for um, donating numerous years, if asked. So that's a good thing. So we might keep the shirts. It, we can decide that later on. Yeah. It doesn't have to be decided now. Um, as far as donations, as of Friday afternoon when I came and checked in on the t-shirts, no further donations have come in um, besides what's already um, been received prior, prior to the last meeting. Um, however, Kathy and I did meet, added a couple more names to the list, and with the donations we had plus the t-shirts, um, we have $1,300 that does not include the one donation that came in for sponsorships. And I didn't know if, when we get all the money from the shirts in all the overage, do you want to use that for activity money um, for the program, or do you want to use that for scholarship? Because it'll be pretty close to 250 Didn't we have to pay for the bus for the parks? Or was that the Jenny Thompson? One of them. Jenny Thompson bus. Yes. Was that the Jenny Thompson bus we had to pay for? So could yeah, we just allocate some? Park. It's the park. Okay, I knew it was one of them. Yeah. That we hadn't even considered the bus cost for those field trips. Can we allocate some of that money towards it to alleviate the cost to parents? So as far as the New Hampshire State Park, each child brings in $5 for the bus trip. Right, but what I'm saying is we're going to have an overage, so can't we allocate some of that money for some of the buses? Because now you're going to have even a bigger overage if you are collecting money. We can't do that. We're, but we also didn't collect a, enough for the Google Books thing. Because that's what friends are, yeah. So what did we decide about that? Like, is that Okay, the okay. I'm going to... I'll get you. Jody's sitting there with her hands. Up. I am really one. Jody? <laughs> I know, right? I know. I know, right? Um, how much do we actually have for sponsorship? Two hundred and forty dollars out of one child. child. Okay, so that is specific for one child. So right now we only have one child scholarship. Do we have a child for that scholarship? We haven't advertised it yet because we didn't know how many we were going to be able to advertise for. Okay, well, I'm not even sure we were going to advertise it. I need to bring right. that up so as well. We decided not to advertise it if something we, came to We us. actually mm -hmm. have another donation for, um, Caroline wanted me to give this to you guys to talk to you, that Rogers Auto Body also donated 120 to sponsor a camper. Okay. So when, do you know when that one came in? 519. Find what? 519. Okay, because I was in on Friday and I kept on asking you, have any more donations? She said no. Oh, maybe she just gave it to well, me. Okay. I was there Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> and she knew I was taking it to talk to everybody yeah. about it because what she wanted to know was, should we ask them, uh, you know, if we don't have campers to sponsor, should we ask them if we can use this money for something else, or? Well, why don't we? Well, let's put out, let's put out that we have two scholarships available, see what we get back. Because right now we have two, two specific things that are just for scholarship. So we have to advertise that there is scholarship available. Right. So, and that goes through, they have to put that paperwork in through me. Um, but at this point, we have two scholarships available, so we'll have, to, well, we'll have to take the other half out of the extra money because you can't have do a half. half. So well, it can be partial. Yeah, partial. We can advertise it as 
different parts. We have tuition sponsors. assistance. Tuition assistance. assistance versus just saying a free spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's up to you guys. As a, as, do I hear a motion of how much you would like to assist campers? Well, it just depends on me. So you take the two forty, right, and the one twenty. So we have one twenty. So three sixty. So you have three sixty. So how much do you want to divide up and help? How many kids? Right. Yeah, if one person applies, then okay, here you can. You know, three people apply. Yeah. And then three. I, I, I kind of agree with Lester. I think it depends on need. If only two people apply for it, then you just divvy it up 50 50. But if only one person applies for but it. But I can't put it out there saying I have free spots or I have reduced cost spots. Okay. Let's say a tuition assistance available. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so can we put out tuition assistance as available for those who need it? Um, and then for those, net. for those that qualify, please email me for How do you know what they qualify? I we're taking the federally qualified numbers um, and they have to meet the under two hundred percent poverty level. Yeah. And they have, we've discussed in a previous meeting that they would show you yeah, appropriate they have paperwork. To, they have to show appropriate paperwork just like anything else. Um, so with that, Rogers Auto Body in. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> another woman. Thank you. I've got it down right now. I believe it's 1.5. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, so there were a couple of people who had spoken up early in the situation, early in the process, that they'd like to give money, and we still have not seen anything from them. I emailed them back in March and stuff. So, and Kathy and I have pounded the pavement and hit between 45 and 50 businesses in the community. And out of those businesses, we have, we've heard from like three: Rogers, um, C and C and J, which Kelly got for us. We see pizza out of Dover, which we need to check into getting their gift cards. And then um, that's all I know of we've heard from. Yeah. Um, I, I um, got the donation from the uh, fire department. Of the, I just showed Dee in the back of my car. Um, brand new puzzles and Scrabble and games. Um, so that was a nice donation. And I, um, I don't think you consider a donation, but I called Papa Jay's for a donation, and they said that um, they could give us a break on pizza. Um, this was the breakdown that they gave us. I just said, he said, how many pizzas do you think you need? Hundred. Yeah. <laughs> well, I said that we have like sixty campers. He says, okay, so let's go. Just say eight pizzas just for topic and um, so four cheese four pepperoni be $55 including tax and delivery versus five dollars at um, Phil Caesars oh yeah oh it's better yeah. well then let's go to La Festa <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 I have a lead on Lofesta. I have a, so uh, somebody gave me a name. Like, we we'll can contact them right now. But yeah, right. So I will be contacting Lofesta this week. I've just been under the weather. So hopefully it'll get done. I actually have a name of somebody at Target that I can send over. A dollar for cheese and a dollar so, fifty for um, we would make so, yeah. what was it I have two no. Okay. So if you do that, then you know, you're making what more Yeah. And that's all crossing your fingers that you sell them all. But then if you're left with a pie, now you lost money. Well, well then, you're not going to be left with a pie. It, well, we had a discussion that if we're Say left that. with a pie, some of the families, we could out offer it to the families at the end of the day. You want to take it home for 5 or $10. Okay. 
Uh, I call dibs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take them. So are we saying we want to go with Jay's <laughs> <laughs> parents that would do that for us? Yeah, and then I have them. That's what I was thinking. Oh, I take them. <laughs> so, I mean, so we'll get, uh, we're we'll get back to you okay. about talking to Jason. Anyway, I'll call him. Um, oh, you know, we didn't put all the so we can put them in the room. We can talk about that. Okay, bring it in. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'll call him. Okay, thank you. 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 Can I go back to the solution report? What is the most appropriate way to get the word out there to the community? Um, our Facebook and our website. Okay. For so. tuition assistance? Yeah. Okay, so I will, I'll contact, uh, I'll do the Facebook and I'll contact uh, Tia. I'm sorry, you for registration. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Thank really? You so are you really asking that? <laughs> 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 that's right. Like, it should be the 15th. I know that. I'm sorry. No, I want to register at the last minute. Okay. I'll do the well, math well. part. Just write it up. Okay. That's great. Oh, okay. one last thing on my plate. You had your hand up in the register because you asked your question. 20 seconds. I'll do it on your plate. I'll find what I What if um, somebody tries to sign up like the day out? Yeah, will you turn that away? Like the day before, what if someone's like, oh, I... We'll try to say they've got the missile amount in, in, in their hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you, oh you mean can we charge them a late fee? Late fee. Depends on ratio. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have to get yeah. yeah. first, though. <laughs> so we have to make sure we have spots available for counselors. Mm -hmm. Right. And then as a board, do you want to, as a committee, sorry, do you, do you want to impose a late fee? Uh, yeah. I'm just happy that we fill the spot. Yeah, I don't think we should charge a late fee. That's my, I, I, know, I know it's a, a joint decision, but uh, I don't. Okay. For that, um, with, the, with the motion on the table, well, I'll make a motion. Okay, right. but wait, 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 before you do this, please. Mm -hmm. Sorry. My my thought is, so what if, so what if, three days before camp starts, we get we have five people that sign up, mm -hmm. and who? How are we making a decision about who to pick? Who? And who not like, pick? if we only have three three slots because that's how many counselors we have, how who are we telling? They're in, and who we tell them they're not. So first, 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 first. Put them on a waiting list. You know, first come, first yeah, first come, first serve. First person that signed up gets in, and then it also uh, all depends on ratio too. If we're not in ratio, and at that you point, can't absorb that. At that point, it would have to that first week before camp. If we'll put, they have to come to Carroll Hall to do it, and I'll have a list at at the window for sign up. So, because then you know who's first come, first serve. About coming in after. Yes, well, she had said if one of the sixth grade kids would have fit, then her daughter would have went, and then a few other girls would have went, and she said that still hoping them to sign up. I'm like, you can still sign up yeah. till the 12th. I talked to some people tonight, too, and I was like, are you going to come? Well, we knew we'd get a late. I think we should rush like, like, hire kids. more and have like, some floaters. Just you really has been hounding me. I'm like, you're off it. I'm sure. Oh, no. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yes. We'll tell you. Yeah. Okay. So anything coming in after June 12th, we should say, is is your name is being put on a waiting list. We cannot guarantee you a spot. How about that? We can't. Your yeah. spot you cannot be guaranteed after June, after signing up after June 12th. I can always Facebook that, too. Yeah. So is that like a motion? Can I count that motion? Well, hold on. Jody, I think you wanted <laughs> to say something before you yeah. No, no, no. Finish that thought. I have a whole new thought. Because <laughs> 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 my thought is that it's they have to be, like we said, they have to be, like we said, if that's a motion, it needs to be paid in full. When? No, oh, yeah, absolutely. It definitely has to be paid in full mm -hmm. at that time. But I, I think we need to say anybody, you know, bringing in money after June 12th is being put on a waiting list and we can't guarantee you a spot. That includes pre and post. Well, right now we have it. How many pre's do we have? 14? 
Is that oh, twelve? More than that. Public care? No. No, no. That, I gave you the number with with the license. We have sixteen oh, spots. Uh, just I had a lot so of so yeah. yeah. In case so fourteen. She does well, not need free books. Okay. I know that. No. Yeah, to be so so that no. Just pre or post, but the whole thing. So she has a spot. So she already signed it. She's part of the sixty two then. The mom that needed someone to sign her ten year old out, is she already signed up? She's already in that number. So for um, post, Kelly, and yes. that question, you're saying that all applications received um, after the June 12th, after June 12th, oh, but if they're postmarked June 12th, that's fine. Oh uh, yeah. But yeah. after June 12th, <laughs> we'll be put on a waiting list, and we can't guarantee the box. She needs the aftercare. Yes. Yeah. So she's part of our 62? Yeah. Okay. Oh. She, she signed up for aftercare? She just said she needs to. So. Thanks. So there's a spot. I'm sure you will. No, she didn't sign up for aftercare. But she didn't because so. of the sign up. There we go. She signed up. Here you go. So now that's how many in pre post? So pre 14. Post eight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay. Jody, did you have any more thoughts to that, Bob? Um... Not on that, no. Okay. Okay, so I will um, I'll Facebook that about the um, the deadline and the wait yeah. wait list. Not guaranteed. But applications are still yes. Okay. Do you have another thought? I do have another thought, and I'm afraid to I'm afraid to actually bring it up, but since we now have a director who I see fairly confident. <laughs> Thank you. No, I I hate to even think about this again, but the board has already asked for fifty one forty nine percent. And we're having a hard time getting the few more counselors that we do need. <coughs> do we want to go back to the board and ask for 49, 51 percent? Well, with the difference, we, that wouldn't give us another person. That would help us hire the younger kids. No, but we, we that 2 percent wouldn't mean you could hire another younger person. Yes, it does. It would mean that the, the ratio would have to be more. We could have more younger kids than old than over eighteen. Under 18. Currently, what's our ratio? All right. What? How many of these are? Hold on. No. So we're not talking about sixteen. Right. 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 And no, because that would put us at 50-50, right? Oh, yeah, so we could well, do that. Now the three that we think will be applying, are they under 18? I know the one I know is interested is not. Not the no, one I know is 16. 16, mm -hmm. and mine isn't. Mine isn't either. So that would be, that's three right there. So if we flip it, you said we'd be allowed to hire three more than that. Right. And they're all there. like 17 and a half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. So I think this late in the game, I think it's going to be the younger kids that are going to want the job more. Because yeah. for the most part, 18 plus, they've already found their summer job because mm -hmm. most of them are already coming back from college. So. But do we feel comfortable with that? That was the whole point. Especially if, if they're 17 and a half or you know, as right. a parent, I feel pretty comfortable with yeah. that, I think. Yeah, like the one I'm mentioning, he's close to 18. He won't, I mean, no, it won't be until October, but... Yeah. <laughs> so like early, late September, like late September, yeah. Just turned 16. I, I, I wouldn't have trusted her last year when she was 17, but now that she's 18. I think the fact that we already have at least, was it, five 18 plus year olds? 
I would, I would feel okay hiring some younger ones because you do have that many 18 plus. Now, we are struggling in the 18 plus department, and I would say, no, we got to keep that 51%. <laughs> yeah. I agree with Andy. So, make a so, let me make a motion to bring back to the select board to see if it's okay to go 49-51 instead of 51-49. No, we bring in what that one extra that we could have five and five. I can't guarantee Split. the board will say right. yes, but it's worth the effort. Mm -hmm. to and if they Seven. don't, how many more can we hire? That's the un under uh, two. only two more. Okay. There's three. I second. All right. I second. So all in favor. So I do today. All in favor. I, I, I am too. I just want to say one thing. So any? we're saying that earlier we said we need four more. If they say no. And we can only hire two of those. That means we really have to go out there and find some eighteen-year-olds mm -hmm. because we really do need those four more. Jordan, where do you? And if we're already talking about putting kids on waiting lists, <laughs> we, it's yeah. nice to say, yeah, we, we want to take you, but if we're not in ratio, yeah. that's not the safest thing to do. We, we, I'm for it. I think we need as many counselors as possible, but I think we need to be prepared if they say no, because then right. we're only stuck hiring two. Of those three, when we need four. <laughs> what is our current specific age breakdown? Like, is everyone 17? Oh, oh wait, no, it's our counselors? Yes, because I mean, the board might want to know that. Go, okay. We have two oh. 16 year olds. So two are 16. And then I really didn't, I don't really. And the rest are only 18. Plus. Plus. And then the rest are 18 higher. plus. Okay. And the ones that everybody are, else is eighteen and over. So the two yeah. the two unders are just I think they just turned sixteen both of them. Uh, okay, so Jada and, these young and Sam. Young. Yeah. Um so I guess do we want to maybe bring to the board we have two sixteen year olds that the, if we go over we're going over with a seventeen year old? Yeah. I don't know. You know, the, you know does it matter? Yeah. I don't know. know. I mean, I think it makes a difference whether they're like just barely 16 or You're right. That's two years. So I have six people that are 18 plus? Five. Two, three, four, five. And one you of those is a part timer. You just said that five full timers. No. And four full timers. Four full timers. One part time and then two 16. Yes. So, my, I guess, why don't we go to the board that we have two 16-year-olds and the additional three, or the yes. higher will be 17? I mean, they might feel better about that. Well, 16, 17. It's a, it's a 16, 17 is the breakdown that we had, so. Yeah. You don't think you're saying better with them if we said we're hiring someone that's 17 and 11 months? Or that's <laughs> it's all just work like 16 and one month? <laughs> I, will bring it, I will bring it back to the board. Um, oh. I'm trying to think if we're all, if we're all informed for them. Okay. So. Talking about the school board money, is I started a grant for Eastern Bank, which would bring in five hundred dollars. Um, however, I haven't finished it because I was under the weather, and th I have a inkling in the back of my mind that popped up that the select board wants to see all the grant applications that we send out, so they know what money's coming in. Yes. Um, so I have to run any of that money we'll through get down here and the select board before it can go out. Does anybody, I was going to send it to Dan just to have him like look at the grammar and everything before I send it out. Anybody else want to send it before yeah. it comes? I'm good with Dan. <laughs> and um, I looked at Eastern and I looked at Poland Springs too and they have a time frame of 45 to 60 days before they look, they review them once a month, mm -hmm. but they have that time frame of Text me and let me getting back to us. Um, so so I, I don't know if it'll be feasible for this year. 
So I don't mean to backtrack. So you are going to go to the board and ask to switch those numbers? Okay. Yes, we meet tomorrow night at 6.30. I'll email you guys all. So what we're proposing to the board is 20% ratio of 16, 30% ratio of 17, and 50% above 18. No more talking. Right? She doesn't know. Okay. Sorry, I have to call. Let's go on. So that's t shirts, that's donations, and grants. No. Anything else you need me to report on? No. Okay. How do you make it? Yes, thank you. Yes. I have it right here on my question. Um, so, so we're driving 45 minutes to skate parks with so another 15 to go to White Lake because if we're staying away from oceans. We're we're kind of, we're like going to the same park twice. We talk away, Kingston, Wentworth, mm -hmm. and there's really nothing else. Jordan has something to say. No, it's not White Lake, right? Yeah. White Lake is beautiful. It's only really 15 bright. minutes further than we're going to drive home. And it's really nice because like the swimming it's area is clean, just it's it's safe. clean and it's very mm -hmm. easy I'll to go spot kids. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here underneath the tree. <laughs> so, being on the bus that long with the kids, yeah. how is it? What's the longest trip? No, no, I don't have the bus. I think it's like nothing. Have you gone on an hour trip with the kids on the bus? I've been on two and a half hour trips with high school football kids. I can handle anything. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's going to leave that. You're going to get out crying. Like, you're going to get my stuff in. Okay, I don't mean to sound old school. Is there air conditioning on the new buses? Really? No, I don't think so. Are you serious? Quite lucky they get seatbelts on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't have seatbelts. <laughs> That's a good thing. It'll be hot. They'll go to sleep. Are you volunteering to they the shower when I'm home? Oh, no. all that. Oh, that's a tweet to me. So, Ryan, yours. Megan, yours. That's okay if you want to give them to me or yeah. read them off or whatever you want is fine. That's nice. Is it there? Where's the one Ryan down from me? Fine. Yeah. Is that the piece of paper? That's fine too. Whatever you want to do. I just want to tell you now. Okay. Okay. So. Megan, what should she have to wait June 27th is the tuck away. July 7th is Wentworth. Because that week is Okay, that's a short week. Mm -hmm. And then July 11th is Kingston. Nothing on July 18th yet. Sounds Eight. like a white leg trip right there. Sure does. July 25th <laughs> is Kingston again. August 1st is Patakaway. August 8th is Wentworth. And yeah, I think the 15th is Patakaway. I mean, um, why does it end? She booked it. She booked it. it. Sounds good. I like what I like to do. Can you email that? Can I just write it down? And I have it too, so. Okay, can you email it? <laughs> yeah. Well, it will now go into our color coordinated schedule. What's that? Color coordinated thing? I can't. Hey, can I just talk about it? You're going to have to ask. Can we be special? It's beautiful. July 7th. So they won't. I don't know how I just want to make sure that I understood it correctly. So I think that we could go ahead and do it. The week of the 4th, are they going to Jane Thompson on Thursday that week? No, the week of the 4th is Jane Thompson and it was Wednesday. Okay, so that's why we're going there. Yes. Okay. Wednesday the swim day and Friday is the state park day because it's a short week. Because they're supposed <coughs> to meet at the Jane Thompson pool and it is not available on it's Friday. Not, it's not fully <laughs> updated yet with the state parks. What day is the Wednesdays? 
No, because isn't that Yosher Day? Wednesday. Oh, Tuesday. Sorry. So I don't have to cook on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard a comment earlier about um, doodle bugs. I did stop in and talk to her. She's fine writing the thing for the end of the program. Um, no issues there. And she said, due to the lack of funding, of not getting as much as we'd like, she was fine either doing um, the four week session or coming in twice doing one paint your own pottery and one do the <coughs> project. It would be up to us. Her request was that we have the kids sign up for her program as soon as possible because she needs two weeks to order her supplies from her um, suppliers. So to give her two weeks, we need a sign up sheet. And that was tough. So what? So what is the cost for the two, the two um, items, or the two week session as opposed to the four week session? The four week is forty five for camper, right? I don't see that happening right now. Right. We need over two grand for that to happen. If all of the campers do it. Right. And we said at the last meeting we'd have a sign up sheet. Yeah. So if we get up the sign-up sheet the first week of camp, it'll yeah. give her a chance to see how many kids are willing to do it, yeah. and then we can determine costs from there. Um, I think it's per head, but I will check in with her about how much it costs. Usually when she does the pottery um, and the glass, it is roughly 5 to $10 per head. Um, so if, if we had, for instance, if we, so would that be $10 for the two week then, you think, right around there? Because we have that, right? We got the $600 for that. Yeah. But we also, so we have that, um, but we also have the 250 that came in from the Police Polevolent Society and the $250 from the Vicky right. Righteous Foundation yeah. that could, um, over that too, and then um, depending on what we get, that's why I asked about the t-shirts, the community sales for the t-shirts. Did you want to put that into wherever, into scholarships or into um, activity fees? And I was thinking if I put this grant into Eastern Bank this week, we could um, or in the next week or two, we could probably, 60 days from next Monday is August 12th. That would give us the last week of camp, an extra $500 if we get it. Well, that's a big party right there. Yeah. Bark you. Yeah. And I was thinking <laughs> you could do something <laughs> special <laughs> if we get it. So, but I don't know. Um, oh, we could think about it and talk about it next week, too. And I can go back to Doodle Bugs and get our prices. Good. What about that? I don't want to interrupt you. No, that's why you raise your hand. Go for it. Yeah. I, I just think you need to have a backup for the ten dollars. Right? So ask her what a two week session would be as opposed to four week. Sorry, Joe. No, it's totally fine. <laughs> no, you're really not. No, it's totally fine. No, my only thought was um, once we get scholarships straightened out, um, you, we're going to need easy up so one's donating them. I know I'm bringing one, but that's not going to cover 60 kids. <laughs> we're not going to be able to use a lot of that tree line because of the culvert work that's going to be going on. Um, Andy, I don't know if we told you that. The culvert right by the back edge of the park is going to be we've worked on this summer. I don't know how far in they're going to rope it off. Okay. And that's the only tree line we really have for shade. So I don't think it's going to go very far towards the soccer field area because there is some good shade there. Um, but we're going to need easy ups. Okay. So, um, and they're going to have to be put away every night. I asked, I asked and I'm like, do you think it's safe to leave them out? And they're like, no one. So they're going to have to go up and down every day. I apologize about that. But I'm thinking we're going to need like eight. $89 a piece at Walmart. Oh. 
Let's see what Amazon has for us. So if we want to put that back out there that Ozark is still looking for easy ups, you know, hey, next time you go to Walmart, bring in town hall. But we're going to need those. I tried to get them to stay out all summer, but the police chief thought it was not a good idea. Well, plus wind can just take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Will deteriorate. Just being yeah. Um, and yes. I heard a rumor, yeah. and you—I don't know if you know this—they're repaving at the school. They did that last. The basketball court. Are you kidding? What? And I don't, um, I don't know when that's happening. Let me break the fourth wall. Did you go to a school or <laughs> No, Nancy did, and they are. They are? Do what? you know what the date is on that by any chance? I didn't see that in the budget at all. So? Oh, just turn that right here. What's that? You want me to do that? They have yeah, surplus money. So they're pay, repaving the basketball court and what? Yeah, part of the driveway. Part of the driveway. So and I and I think I think there's gonna they're gonna do some excavation work too to um, actually make it flat. I mean it'll be fantastic once it's done, but they, they might actually be able to play basketball. I'll Can they up. fix like, the? Yeah, I think they're actually fixing that so it's not tilted. There is a school board meeting this coming Thursday. At 630. Yeah, why not have four meetings this week? That's great. I'm going to do that. All right. Is anybody else available to go to ask? What about my sister? June 6th. My sister in law is on the school board. June 8th. Do you want me? Yeah, if we can just get an answer of when they're doing it and what they plan on doing, even a drawing, because that may interfere with walking in and out of the building. Drop, where are we dropping off? Isn't that drop off? Too? Yeah. Right, because now we've got two construction projects going on. Right. That's that, that's about on the street, like the front of the street. They couldn't wait for yeah. the end of August to do all that? Depending, it's the paving company that you get put on the list once you get a paving company. Did it get put on the bid yet? I have no idea. I just. Is it the same company that was paving I highly doubt it. No. Pike does big jobs. Sure, it's a smaller job. I don't know. So, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not on school. I don't know if it's different. So, we won't have many problems. <laughs> on my way, the gym's closed the last week. Last week, though. Camp. Of camp. Hopefully, the pain will be done by then. That would not be good. Do we need to start looking at other places? Yeah. No, because I know it costs money. Oh, we can use the library. Yeah. I was about to say, we can send everyone to the library. <laughs> Hiking for the last week. Just well, keep walking doing around. Doing that job, I'm assuming it would be a two, two day job, three day job. Tops. I'm guessing. Yeah, it's got to be prep work, so if they're right. leveling it, we're talking more than three days. Mm -hmm. Honest to God. They did all the foundry. No, they didn't. They've been Did they do a bang up job? I don't know. I have to drive down to my house. To redo the basketball area at the Longs for Bridge. Only you would ask that question, Miss Ari. Here's what I found on the web. Hold on, I found it on the web. Well, I'll let you know if I get an answer. Is anybody going to go to the school board meeting? I may be. I know. I mean, they spoke too. What day is it? Oh, here we go. Did the fourth wall um, break? Um, C8. Oh, good. I'll be videotaping it. Okay. No, there you go. You're going to make me watch the video, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fine. I'll watch it. I'm fine. <laughs> Summer Camp Entertainment. My boys probably would love this. Your boys. 
Um, I tried to look on the on his website for any type of money. So this would be like one of those activities. I couldn't find anything. It's a guy, a stunt guy, um, on a bike doing some. But he, but if you read his his thing, he's got a he's got a purpose though. He has a. I think it might be an anti-bullying kind of whole. He, he does it for schools and, and things like that. So um, I did go to his website. I didn't. Um, I didn't get to the next step of actually inquiring about finances. Do you want me to keep? I'll take that on, or do you want to take that on? I'll check it out. <laughs> and if I find something, I'll put it in the web okay. or on the Google Drive. Oh, good. And it sounds like he's got all kinds of different programs, like half day, full day, I don't know what else, but, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Jody, did we find out about the CPR and first aid training dates? Uh, Mark, I think I messed with that. He said he would um, look at the dates and stuff. He actually said, if I remember correctly, I thought he said that um, Mondays and Tuesdays are better because, because I didn't think Mondays were available because that is their training day. Um, but he said that actually might be easier because they can they'll have more people, so it'll be more one hands-on and one-on-one, so. Okay. But they are putting the first aid okay. together. So, yeah, and I talked to Kate about getting into the building for setup on Saturday. She said that should be fine, but there needs to be some sort of, she talked about a waiver, some insurance waiver about, um, that shouldn't be Right, because I say, well, isn't the same insurance as the school, the town is in the school, and <laughs> so anyway, it, she didn't seem to think that it was a big deal. Um, we have the same insurance company, um, so well, the school. Right, so that would but be. But they're not going to do that when we walk up. Well, so you're talking about Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday that 20, what is that, the 24th? 24th. Um, so that they can get in. Um, I'm going to check his website. And then, no, I can't see that. Uh, going back to, I think I know we had talked about she opening up and locking. Um, every day, what if we, what was the conclusion on that? To the keys, okay. And she, she talked about a similar thing that we have to, there's like a building occupancy form or something that we have to fill out for the hours that we're going to be there without staff member there. It would be the same as that Saturday. Right. She called so I called me back and then was no. like, yeah. That was Are we purple. giving Andy a set of keys? But she, well, who'd she tell us? To, Caroline? So did she tell me to talk to Caroline? Keyboard. Yes, but who she called that day was not. Like, let me, I think that's why I'm going back to come here back last time. I told you that she needed to sign. And I meant to talk to Caroline about that. <clears throat> okay, so we need a regular occupancy permit. Right there, Weaver. Which is that a lot of Weaver for Saturday? Just to be in there with those. Is she in there on Saturday? Who? Mm -hmm. so, and say, well, what's this waiver you're talking about? And let's fill it out. You can write it just like <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh, you're killing me. All right, do we have anything else we need to talk about? Uh, um, yes. Mission statement. I sent it out in email, and I got two responses back. But um, I needed a mission statement for the grants, and 
I made it a little broad to cover the whole committee and not just summer rec in case we expand in the future. And like the whole <coughs> line in there, if you read it through, is like to have a safe environment um, for all participants, including staff, because I know the select board just had to pass something about um, a drug free workplace. So I wanted you guys to know that some of that was in there to cover um, some of our policy and stuff. I'll take it back there. I mean, I, I responded to that. My understanding of mission statement is it's like a one Short or mm -hmm. yes, one or two. There's no specifics. It's very general. It's like we're here to you know offer offer a safe, fun, you know even learning active mm -hmm. environment for the children of Rollinsford and surrounding areas. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right there. Yeah. You want to play that back? <laughs> <laughs> I have that's pretty good. That's in there. That good but that's point. not all we are because we're rec committee for the right. whole community, not just for the kids. So oh, so this would be a mission statement. <coughs> so it, it can be short and sweet, you know, yeah. in pulling all that in. It needs to be. Yeah, I could, if you send me what you have, I can <laughs> scale it down, condense it, and we can take a look. And yeah. We'll work so to do that. To make, you know, I mean, like, just thinking, St. Thomas, we have a mission statement in it's like a sentence, a sentence or two. So. Can I nominate Dan on it then? Second. Okay. <laughs> yeah. but I, did, I did see it. I, I, I probably still have an email, actually. I did take I out. did see it, and then I, I remember reading yours, and I was like, wow, that was pretty good on a whim. No, and I did read yours. And, yeah. but and I did, I have updated it and taken stuff out. I can, I can read you, so our mission statement for Marshman Travel Soccer. Our mission is to provide a fun and competitive youth soccer playing experience focus, focused on player development, competing against other clubs in the state of Maine. And it says we are committed to making the experience fun for the players. Where were you today? Where was I today? I was at soccer. <laughs> and softball. <laughs> I was at soccer. <laughs> Anything else? Do you have anything else? No. Anybody? Anybody in general? Well, we'll start with the um, community service. Um, this right is not here in the garden this year. So um, it's all up to us. So I went over and I prepped it. So the soil is all ready. And um, I didn't know if I should go ahead and um, start planting before rack. I think that's something the kids can do first. But yeah, but is that too late? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Because I don't. I don't mind. So to mature tomatoes mature in like 50 days. Oh, wait. We bought some tomato, we could get some tomato plants. Yeah. Let the kids plant. Mature tomatoes mature like 50, yeah. 50 days. Yeah. So I mean, could work out at the end of usually harvesting my tomatoes like you know, maybe late August. Yeah, that's a tough one. I so we that. should. Yeah, um, so we a very I, short have, I don't mind, <laughs> yeah. and I don't mind going ahead and getting the plants and planting right. them. But um, and then, you know, maybe just letting them could, take care of that. Right. Yeah, we could maybe start them off. And, yeah, we you know, just trying to think what would be some good. We're talking. Well, we could do some flowers too. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to just be. I don't yeah. know what you were thinking. Were you thinking vegetables? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. So then they could eat their yeah, produce. Forgive me for not being the farmer here, but um, if they're just in pots? No, we couldn't them in pots. No, I know, but if they're just in pots, aren't they growing? Yeah. So that when the kids get there, they can put them in the ground. But they should be taking off by then. Yeah. Okay. All right, like I said, I... I'm not a, I'm not I haven't had a lot of success with the container. But, but. 
um, like the zucchini has to start like mm -hmm. and the green beans yeah. like they go like crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm Randy. Yeah. You have to. And you would also have to yeah. um, dedicate the time to going over every day and watering it. Right. They're not doing it before right. they get to camp. Um, unless they, you're okay with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or I can ask, I can ask Kate if she'll, or just write if she'll help to water it until still. We're talking a week. Yeah. Right. No, actually. No, a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. Who ends when? The uh, 22nd. 22nd yeah. and 30th. Yeah. 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 yeah, I don't mind maintaining it um, up until mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Yeah. I think you might be doing a project. Zucchini is oh, a great idea. Yeah. 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 It's fun for kids to see them in both their early nice yeah. world. So, yeah. Same with the green beans. You know, those yeah. green beans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They grow. So can I say that? Maybe we can compromise that and plant some and have kids plant yeah. some because sure. I know I myself mean, personally, I'd be like, um, so all I did is water this, but if I had to go dig the hole, put it in, and all that, yeah, even if maybe mine didn't grow as quickly as these other ones that happened to already be there. Right, right. Yeah, that's a great idea. You could play it like a and then when it gets some. Yeah, it's a great idea. Personally, Go donating beans. those things. Yeah. That is very nice. Yeah. We also have a call out to uh, what with greenhouse. Oh, good. Oh, I, yeah. I, and we're not sure if they'll donate anything. I'm going to approach them again. They're fairly inexpensive, though. They're only four pounds. They're a wrong Yeah, they're very cheap. Yeah. 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 It's like it costs us like $30 for yeah. so well. Like a plant by two big garden concepts and a big extra. So that's one of the community um, service things that we're going to be doing. And then the other one, I don't know if you got the email, um, um, down at the gazebo, down near the boat launch. Um, there's a little park there that needs raking and, and tidying up and planting flowers. And um, there's even, on the gazebo, um, what are you talking about? Down here. Not the leaf one, the other one. Millennium Park. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. This is that one. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh,
They at least have the nails taken out, so. How do you yeah. scare those? Uh, Jeff and his part timers. And this a few areas, you know, it really needs raking because of all the debris from the winter and stuff. And then there's a few, like, um, they're, you know, blocked off um, with that yeah, plastic. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. So those need cleaning up. Yeah. And then maybe planting some flowers in there. Um, like in patients. That's mm -hmm. a nice shady Shady, area. Yeah. And they're easy. They're all dying. Okay. Or hot shaped or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then right where the sign is, Welcome to Rollins Creek, there's um, this flocks there that are going to die. I, I don't know if someone else plants flowers in that box, but we could do that also. All I know is hostas and patients. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think those that's another um, good community service project. Okay. Um, and those will both need um, the garden and that area needs maintenance, like the watering. Um, so that that's that. And then it's been hard. I um, getting special events, but um, I thought that people would be more willing to offer and share what they do. But on um, the first Thursday, um, Kachiko Humane Society is going to come in, and they're going to give a I'm talk. Oh, your face glow. Oh, my yeah. God. Are puppies? Are they bringing puppies? Yeah. They are. I can't believe they're coming back to your house. <laughs> they're going to do a talk and a demonstration on how to care for pets. Oh, oh. That's what awesome. Is that so I remember the that the kids are going to come home asking. Yeah. 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 So, so my yeah. that I think is I'm sorry. The week of the first So it's Friday or Thursday? Thursday. So Thursday. What time is that? Oh, that'd be Thursday, 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 Thursday,
So, and then July 20th is a pretty tentative date for the explorers to come in. Um, okay. What is that? Oh, it's the 20th. Sorry. Fire department. Um, explorers, they're going to come in and talk about being an explorer and then do like a musk. Robbie's calling a musk or whatever. How to spray the holes. Yeah. You're going to need like a fire hose? Yeah. Oh, I want to be there for that. For safety reasons. Have you ever been to Yeah, they do. Really? Yeah. That's cool. No one ever invites me. Family Friday emails. Okay. Um, the whole town's invited. I just, I, I just, 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 I I haven't booked her yet because I wanted to see what else I, like, people weren't flexible. I wanted to get them in first. Mm -hmm. And the watercolor lady was flexible. And same, and so the cake decorating lady will. And then um, Chief Ducharme, I talked with him Friday night, and he's going to call me tomorrow. He would like to come and talk to the kids about becoming a police officer, and then um, having them check out the car and all, all that. And so let them know to hire, but we are looking for officers. <laughs> 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 will the watercolor be the more yeah. sign up? This is right. the female response. Do you think uh, she's not even know that supplies? She said no because it's just paint and Okay. Oh, I'm including less there. But we need something to supply her. No, she's coming. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 Right. So no one sign up. No. Okay. And if you all happen to get your tax bill this week, I already got mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there was the notice in there for people to volunteer. I, read through that. You probably didn't. <laughs> Your tax bill came in this week. It's in the pile. There's a newsletter in there, but it has a whole bunch of stuff that was pretty neat in there. So, and the assessing is not done, so just when you all take the bottom line, did you? Uh, <laughs> we want 8 by 8 or 10 by 10 only. Um, question. Rather than buying like 10 PZFs, So she said that when they did, um, and they all that includes the archery, you know, the New Hampshire fishing game. She says when we have done that, it has, it's hard to get volunteers to come and do it. You know, they, their volunteers are doing other things, and she says the kids don't want to pay attention because they just want to go up and have fun. I said, well, you haven't been to our racket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I suggested game. we contact the New Hampshire fishing game about doing a fishing trip on the river. Yeah, or, or it's, oh, I said oh, the kids would like it, but then... Oh, or, I mean, that works in, for the Hampshire Fishing Game, I can't guarantee he would help out, but I could always ask. Okay. He's learning to donate his time. But okay. They're concerns. not getting in a boat. They can fish off the side. And no, I'm... Hooks. Hooks. I'm thinking of hooks. <laughs> um, <laughs> as a parent, I'm going to next that one. You know, uh, oh, as a parent, because I'm seeing hooks fly. Yeah. What? The fishing game is um, wild, like she was talking about wildlife and um, coming in and talking and bringing some wildlife. Um, it wasn't going to be. Oh, yeah, badgers and stuff, totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone fishing with, with uh, campers before, but it was strictly like only like the seventh yeah. and eighth grader kids. Yeah. So it'd be like the sixth or eighth group. Maybe if we were to do that, maybe that's the only group that can go fishing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't have I'm just glad you caught one. I'll just go with that. 
That's in pure money. They're under expensive. Mm -hmm. But when they donate. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's, it's a big, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Are we looking to be donating? Yeah. 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 Phil Brooks is a local sporting equipment. I'm yeah. looking for a volleyball net still. That's on my. Volleyball net. Yeah. That's Walmart. Like Walmart has some of them. for like a hundred. I mean, but you you got to get the one. Yeah, some of the ones yeah, they have the badminton and volleyball. It doesn't work. Yeah. You want the, the first game, right. Yeah. You want the poles that are like where you piece of piece piping. Where do you first see yeah. putting yeah. the poles? Yeah. I think so. That's something we can take down. Uh, yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. Um, let's see if Amazon Prime has that, too. Mm -hmm. What else we got? All right. I got a question. John, I don't know if the last one. But um, can you put in the newsletter parents can pay the first week for all of like the field trips or pizzas and then have the money like recorded that first week? So that kids don't show up on field trip things with no money? That's if Annie wants to. No, it's, it's, that would be his decision. I can do that. But that's going to be your decision. You'd have to have some yeah. bookkeeping skills. Yeah, you're going to have some. <laughs> well, you'll have somebody who doesn't need to keep track. I'm sure yeah. I mean, I'm not against it. Um, Are we going to have to have receipts for cash paying people? Yeah. I mean, I mean you're. Well, how are yeah. we? Are we, it's, are we supposed to? Do we have a receipt book? Yeah. But are we supposed to do that, do you think? What? Keep receipts? No, we're for like. I, I'm sorry. I have a little like the attendance book. Okay. Okay. There's going to be a check. Box, and and the no, reason yeah. I say that is because there is aren't you selling like box. pops? Did I read yeah. that in somewhere? Yeah. 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 Pop, pop water. from like 50 cents to a dollar yep. in snacks yeah. Yeah. and the water. Yeah, they'll have that tally sheet. And, yeah. you, know, you know, just like at the baseball and softball. Yeah. And stuff. I just didn't know if like, parents could come in the first week, pay for all eight weeks of field trips. That yeah, be done with it. We can do it. Some well, some you can find an organizer to do it, but yeah, yeah, I don't see why not. You can have like a spreadsheet that Zoe and Zach pay all these my own children. You know, fifty dollars is on their account, and mark it off as they go, or yeah. something like that. Covers X amount of trips. I don't think we want to take. I don't personally prepay. I wouldn't want to. No, I no, I wouldn't want to do take money for like pizza day. And, Just and for that, trips. Right, for Just trips. trips. Yes, yeah. that I I think is. Doable, but but I wouldn't, I don't want, I don't want to like that. Yeah, they are. You can, Emmett, be like, oh, I'll buy you something, and I'll buy you. And you'll take field trip money. Yeah, all that's true. Like, Emmett, you lose your 50 bucks. In like two days. For all my friends. So you'll take field trip money. Yeah. That may be better anyways because I feel like if you were to ask a week or two weeks in advance, you just want to get it. If you give them the option at least to pay at any time, I think they get more kids to go on trips. Well, they do need a deadline. And then you would know. Oh, well, yeah, but. Paid. And I'm sure some parents will, but. Well, how far what do we get? We have to <coughs> bus? Two weeks? Uh, do you remember that, D, that answer? It's two weeks. Yeah. So then our deadline would be two weeks before each. Yeah. Trip. So we're going to have to know the first field trip is going to have to be known before they even soon. start. Well, how big are the buses again? There's one that's 90 and one that's 75. Yeah. So we probably be or we'll be fine at this point with the 75 because we got 62 mm -hmm. kids plus six, seven counselors. I would think so. I mean, we still have three weeks until it starts. So if you do 75, that's not much. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> so we're essentially going to need to know by the 13th to not the bus to the 27th. What's the difference in cost between the two buses? Okay. Uh, Let's 
sorry. Yeah. Do you know what our okay. gate employee is for the bus? Not here, here. <laughs> <laughs> How many kids we have to send on a field trip to break even? Well, what? How many kids have to go home? Yeah. She wouldn't. She doesn't know. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> Send <Battery laughs> email for battery stuff. Was it? Do you remember if it was a significant difference? I think we figured out we had to have 20. I think it was 23 kids on the bus to break even. Oh. For both? She I sent her say kids, she sent her, she sent her. That's 20. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end, we're making money. <laughs> yeah, it was a low, low number. Yeah, yeah. I remember sending it to you and I swear it was 22, 23. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was there a big difference between mm -hmm. the two costs of the bus? Do you remember? No. There was no difference. Oh, between the no. big bus and the little bus? No, there was no difference. There's no difference. <laughs> Might as well go with the 90s and yeah. yeah. differently. Yeah. Me, not your problem. It's no difference because they charge by no. the hour, not by the size of the bus. They charge us, right, by, by the, the hour. To donate to the society, yeah. To, to donate, donate to the society. I mean, I don't, if they are willing to don uh, to make a donation to the Humane Society, I don't see why not. I don't you think. Put a sign. I just don't think we should do it for the current animals that are there. Oh no. Yeah, but yeah, but in general, I don't see why not. If they're willing to donate something, why not? meeting is June 11th. Yeah, next week. Uh, and we should, if we have any more, I mean the, the registrations really yeah, slow down yeah. after that. Um, this is the only one that you Yeah, it's the only one I picked up last week. So okay. we only have one this past week okay. that came in. And James didn't get any from the school. Okay. Right. Did you send your thing in? Oh, 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 you sent it to the office. I was wondering your cute little thing. That oh, you, those went in. Goes into the office. And he did not have any more registration. <coughs> oh, okay. One, uh, just one thing I had here. I think I sent you guys an email about <coughs> emailing Sarah at the library about the training for the counselors. And yeah, and I didn't. I didn't have an answer for that <coughs> until we. <coughs> we thought we were trying to. Okay. Right. Yes, I. Yes, we got still, that. Still, still figuring it out. I think we need to find out when the CPR first aid is. Yeah. But, yeah, I'll try to. But she, it seemed like she was pretty good with us using that. It wasn't a deal. Oh, it was just a, one night. There's a yoga class, like one of the nights. That, that was Thursday, wasn't that? Yeah. Right. Something like that. <coughs> yeah, that was nice. She wasn't. She was okay with it. Okay. It's a pretty big space in the back. I've never seen it. Okay. Survivor theme, like with a um, scavenger hunt. Like I, I don't see why not. I mean, we took the plan break, that day out, but yeah. Yeah, like break up into colors and then name your team. Or, yeah. I, it was just a thought of sort of yeah. um, Pinterest. So, has anybody taken Andrew over yet to look at any of that? And have you been over to the school at all? I like drove by it okay. uh, earlier last week just okay. to kind of scope it out just a little bit, but I haven't really like walked okay. around or anything. I just did a quick drive by. So, if whenever you, you have free time, I'm sure your time is very limited too. But yeah. Um, I'm sure you probably don't want to wait till the Saturday before. I don't. No. <laughs> yeah. For the most part, I'm good really any night. It's just gotta. Uh -huh. 
plan out ahead of time. I mean, Thursday nights are tough for me right now, oh. up until the 22nd, I believe. Not the 22nd. My calendar. The 15th. Thursdays are tough for me up until the 15th. But I mean, other than that, I'm free. Most nights. Most times. Most nights. Almost every night, really. Just on like the next thing. Yeah. And yesterday, the basketball. And there was a question whether we want to be part of the family Monday. Andy, did you receive any info about the first year camp? I have spoken to one of my two bosses. One, one of them was okay with it. I just need to speak with the head one, and I was going to speak with her either tomorrow. Uh, do you mean for the whole day or just for the morning? The whole day. The whole, oh. whole day. That would be great. That would mm -hmm. be great. For what? Yeah. 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 yeah, I got the okay tomorrow. I just have to check it from the with the head on Joe. You actually okay. did email. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. 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 Did you get an email from the rec that nope. said you were adding to the same case with her? Okay. okay. Is Brittany the okay, man? Because Brittany texted me the other day and said that she hadn't heard anything and what's going on or something like that. So I was like, oh, yes. Yeah. And she, thank you for bringing that up because she did send me her email of what she wants to be on it. So who, who would be in charge of that? Oh, adding her email? Yes. Me or you? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Um, Brittany L. Powers at yahoo.com. There's an L in there. Right? So if you could add that, that would be great. A and Y? Yes. L. Powers. Somebody else. At Yahoo. You two swearing against me. You need to go. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, I can't. You can. I'll second. All there. Aye. And you said you're available. Yeah. Everybody. All right, so we have to figure out last thing. I would. I would love. Yeah. Or whatever the number is. Me? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.